A little while and you will see me no more. Again a little while and you will see me. Dear brothers and sisters, a little while and you will see me no more. Again a little while and you will see me. What does our Lord mean by a little while? St. Thomas Aquinas gives us three interpretations of this phrase, a little while. Firstly, in relation to his death, it refers to the time when they would see him no more. Death would take him away from them, but they will not be sad because the time that they would not see him would be a little while and then he would rise from the dead and come back to them. Secondly, in relation to his mortal form, it refers to the time before Christ's death. So that the meaning is, it will just be a little while until I am taken away from you. And then you will see me no more, that is in mortal form. But the disciples will see Christ immortal after the resurrection. And thirdly, in relation to eternity, it can refer to the time of our entire life until the judgment. And then we will see Christ at the judgment in his glory. It is called a little while when we are here. And then comes the death and life eternal. These interpretations have some important messages for all of us. That our life here on earth is but a little while. It is so short compared to the eternity with the Lord. Psalm 90, 12 says, Teach us to realize the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Such wisdom is found in the letter of St. James 4, 13 to 15 too, which says, Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Yet you do not know what tomorrow brings. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Indeed, you should say, if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. Secondly, that our death is also a little while because we are all children of heaven. That we are not abandoned to our graves in death and we do not perish like any other creatures on earth. Christ's victory over death is our victory. St. Paul says in Romans chapter 6, verse 8 and 9, But if we die with Christ, we have faith that we will also live with him. We know that Christ has been raised from the dead and will never die again. Death no longer has power over him. And finally, there is a life waiting for us which is not for a little while. But in that life, we shall see him as he is and enjoy him eternally. We shall enjoy that happiness for which we thirsted while we were here on earth and we were satisfied constantly yet partially. But we shall be completely satisfied when we see him. It is indeed sorrowful to think that what we admire here on earth are all momentary and that death comes like a thief and snatches them away. But for those who live in the Lord, their sorrows will turn into joy because he will see us again. Amen.